skate here a bit. It's just lots of, it's just, you can kind of relax with it and you can kind of just do your own thing and you can kind of just kind of be creative. Looking forward to getting the funding to get this all concreted out and get some new ramps, which would be, which would be cool. I've been using a skate park about since I started a year and a few months. Yeah, for me it's about the same because obviously we both live there. Definitely be concrete would be better. You know, you get, yeah, if it was concrete you'd have more people come in and it would just be a nicer place to skate. We got to the skate park, it was all grey, scratched up, and it looked quite boring. The wood was all wet, and there was not much to go up, really. An hour or two into it, it started raining, which was difficult, because it started to wash some of the paint away. A man from the cafe next to the skate park brought us down some drinks to help us keep going with our project. My name is Rachel Sherlock and I'm a skateboarder that grew up in Clevedon. I remember first getting involved in the Clevedon skate park. There was a bunch of us skating in Clevedon and we didn't have anywhere really to skate apart from the street. And we formed a group called Skate On and I was really young. I remember I was the only girl on the like part of the group and a lot of the boys were older than me. What was surprising for me was when I moved out of Clevedon where I was kind of the only girl skateboarder and I moved to London, I found a whole community of female skateboarders and we had girls nights and things like that and it was just really empowering for women to kind of see us all come together and be part of like a different community. I had a friend that started charity out in West Bank, Palestine so yeah, so I met a bunch of girls out in London and from there I ended up volunteering in Palestine and doing a lot of fundraisers, a lot of jams, bringing it, bringing it back to London and really focusing on the female skate scene. I haven't actually been skating for that long, but um, this year I'm ready to devote myself and like going to properly skate. It's been really hard since most of the roads in Cleveland are covered in grit and the metal skate park down the Salt House is always wet and it's incredibly dangerous. It's so easy to slip. It's, it's like a death trap for me. And for someone like me, who only just started skating and doesn't really have anywhere to go, it makes it seem really harder than it is when you're in Cleveland. The thing I like about it is you get people all ages and of all different backgrounds and they all just like united by this one thing so it's kind of cool